Hello there, everybody. Dan Calloway again, and I'm coming to you from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. I thank you for watching. Uh, I'm on YouTube at the Linux Unix Tech Channel, so go on up there and locate me, uh, subscribe to me there, like my videos. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm back in my salient OS Linux system, and I want to get into the terminal right away today. Uh, I want to talk about Linux processes. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And uh, let me bring it up to full screen. And what I want to do is I want to, uh, first of all, um, let you know that I've created a little program using Bash script. Uh, I'll show it to you. And what it does is it basically is a counter. And it counts numbers from 1 to 1,000 on the screen. And so let me get into it. Let me run Kate against uh, the counter.sh. And it's in the... Uh, root or home directory rather of data pioneer and so if I get into Kate you can see that here it is this is the bash script basically for I equals one test whether I is less than or equal to 10,000 and then increment I and then while it's doing that loop do echo counter the variable I sleep for one second and then loop back and so it's going to count over you know, starting at one, one, two, three, four, it's going to say counter one, counter two, counter three, all the way up to counter 10,000 and then stop. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this and let me go out and run that particular bash script. Uh, actually, let me, before I do that, let me run a listing against the file. You can see here it has the executable bit already turned on. I did that uh, earlier. Okay. So it's R, W, X, R, and R. So that's uh, 744 uh, on the permissions. All right. So let's run uh, clear, clear screen here. And now what I want to do is I want to actually launch counter. And you can see it's counting. Uh, starting at 1, it'll run all the way up to 10,000. Uh, and then it will stop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the application right now or the, or the uh, program. I'm going to do a control Z and stop it so it's running in the background. It's actually stopped in the background rather. And you can see this little one right here uh, on the prompt indicates that I have one stopped program in the background. Alright, so um, the, the purpose of running uh, this particular counter.sh is, is that um, it has a priority assigned to it, okay? I'm a standard user, Data Pioneer. I'm not root right now. And it's running what's called a priority of zero, and that's controlled by something in Linux called niceness, N-I-C-E-N-E-S-S. -E -E -S. If we run a man page against nice, you can see here that nice is defined as running a program with modified scheduling priority, okay? And so you have nice, and then you have optional command and argument. Um, the values that nice can have run anywhere from a range from minus 20, which is the most favorable to the process, to 19, which is the least favorable. So if you have a program or a uh, process that's running a niceness of minus 20, that means it's uh, the system is most favorable to that process. Uh, no other process is going to be able to step on it. You know, it's going to get all of the CPU cycles that the system can give it, and all the other processes that are run are going to have to just take a turn. You know, and wait and take their turn uh, when this particular program is idle, which it never is if I don't stop it. Uh, and so, most everything else is not going to run if you have a niceness of 20, minus 20 rather, um, or the uh, counter.sh program. All right. If you have a process or niceness though of 19 on the other hand, that means its system is least favorable to that process and that means that it is nicer than any other process running on the system. So if I gave um, counter.sh a niceness of 19, that means that anything else could jump ahead of me and then my busy or my counter.sh program would have to take a back seat to their processes. So as a standard user, if I'm running counter.sh and I change its uh, niceness from 0 to, say, 19, somebody else jumps on the system and runs calculator, uh, they're going to get ahead of me and uh, 
counter is going to you know take a back seat to it. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this. And oh, let me actually, I don't want to, didn't want to close the whole thing out. Let me just cancel this and let me quit that, get back to the system here, to the terminal. And so let's look at how do you determine the niceness of, a, of an application like counter.sh. One way to do that, let me clear the screen, is to run ps command and use the aux switch uh, and then go out and pipe that to grep and grep for counter.sh. And you can see that counter.sh has um, a PID or process identifier of 7138. So if I take and run the top command with a priority of 7138 and hit enter, it's going to return to me for PID 7138, it's going to return a niceness, which is what this NI is here, of zero. So Right now, my counter.sh program is middle of the road, okay? So it's not most favorable, it's not least favorable, it's right in the middle. And so it's sharing, basically, the CPU cycles with every other process that spawns here in the system. Um, so that, that's nice, good to know, okay? How can I change that? Well, uh, before I do that, let me tell you that as a standard user, Data Pioneer, uh, I can always change the niceness of my any of my applications owned by me to be uh, more favorable to the system, less favorable to me. In other words, I can increase the niceness from zero to upward toward 19 without any problem. All right. What I cannot do is is if I change the niceness to a fixed value between say zero and 19, let's say 10, I can't re-nice that particular counter.sh or any other application back down again towards zero. In other words, if I give counter.sh a niceness of 10, I can't later re-nice that particular process down to say 5. It won't let me do that. The system will not let me increase my system time access to the, to the system CPU cycles. Uh, also, one of the other things as a standard user that I cannot do is I cannot assign a negative value. So remember, I can go all the way down to minus 20. Uh, if I want my particular process to be the, the most favorable in the system uh, and get all the CPU cycles and everybody else has to take a back seat, I can't do that as a standard user. The only one in the system that can decrease uh, I mean increase rather the niceness uh, from a, uh, a positive value down towards zero or negative is root and anybody the only person rather that can assign initially a niceness to a particular process in the system as a negative number is root as well standard users can't do that alright so let me let me demonstrate that and let me uh, go ahead and quit top and um, Let's go ahead and um, issue this command. Nice. Well, let me clear the screen. So we have, remember the PID is 7138. Now that may change when I change the niceness, so we'll have to find out what it is again. But let me clear the screen. And um, let me actually go ahead and bump that up. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. The command for changing the niceness, remember the counter.sh has a niceness now of zero, so it has priority zero, is nice and then dash and a positive number in. Okay, so I want to change that to positive 5. All right, that's not negative 5. That's positive 5 because nice takes a dash. All right, and then whatever follows that is a positive number. If I want to make that a, a negative number, it would be dash dash 5. All right, so that would be a niceness of negative 5. But remember, I'm a standard user, okay, I can't change it to negative 5 anyway, so this would not work. So I'm going to just change it to 5. And then the uh, PID was 7138, I believe. Uh, I got, maybe I got the wrong one. Uh, hold on a minute. Oh, no, it's not the PID. It's the actual program. Nice, 5, and then counter 
can't type today, dot sh. Okay, so counter is going to start up again. All right, it's now uh, come out of its stopped uh, mode and it's actually running again. And so let me uh, go ahead and do a control Z now. So I've got a second instance of counter stopped. All right, if I want to go back to the first instance and kill it, then I can do a kill and uh, percent one. That's going to kill the first instance, and so now I've only got the one instance of uh, counter running. Let's take a look at uh, the uh, PID assigned to counter.sh again now. Okay. Um, forgot to grep for it. Grep for counter. <laughs> Can't type today. Okay, all right, so now we have counter here, and um, its PID now is 7319, okay. The niceness, you got an N here, rather, it shows that it's been niced, so I, it means that this particular process has been niced, so it's not its standard assignment anymore. Uh, initially, that was not there. I didn't show it to you, but there was no N there. It was just T. All right, and so now if we run top against 30, 7319, okay, we can see now that the niceness here of our counter.sh uh, process is actually now 5, which means that if, um, you know, somebody comes in with a calculator, it's standard user, uh, and runs the calculator, my application is going to be less favorable and so their calculator is going to run ahead of my counter. All right. Let's say I want to go back now and increase that back to zero. I want it to go back to what it was before. Uh, what I can do, I can try anyway, let's clear the screen, is I can um, re-nice this particular uh, process. Do a renice, and now with renice, whatever follows renice is the actual niceness that you're giving it. And so, if I want to do a renice of zero, okay, for counter. Dot sh, it says bad process ID value. So it's looking for an ID value. It's not looking for the actual program. Remember, with nice you use the program itself. With renice you use the PID. And so let's do a PSAUX. Uh, let's grep for counter. All right, and so now the PID is 73.19. So let's do a renice zero, and let's do a PID of 73.19. Fail to set the priority for 73.19 process ID permission denied. Okay, why did I get a permission denied? I got a permission denied because as a standard user. I lowered the priority for myself, letting other people get ahead of me. And then I tried to go back and say, wait a minute, now I want to get back in line again. I want to get ahead of the other people that got in head, ahead of me earlier. I can't do that as a standard user. I would have to change my account to root or log in as root in order to do that. And so to demonstrate that, let me do an SU here. And now I am root user. You can see right down here, I'm root user now. And so now if I do a renice zero of PID 7319, um, it says process ID old priority five, new priority zero. So I was able to go back to the, uh, the old priority that I have, which was zero in the system. And so now if I run a top against 7319, P7319, you can see now that I am back to zero here again uh, for a niceness, all right? Um, and if I wanted to change my uh, priority to, or my niceness, which is changing my priority to, let's say, a minus number, so I can get ahead of everybody else here with this counter.sh, all right? Uh, right now, if I go back out to the system, and let's say I open up a folder. Okay, you can see how responsive that is. I'm not sure if it's going to change much if I run this here and uh, change its priority, but we can give it a try. I am uh, root right now, 
So let me go ahead and quit here. Let me clear the screen. It's 73.19. And so let's do a re-nice of minus to minus uh, 15, okay, of uh, 73.19. Okay, so now the new priority for counter.sh is minus 15. That's almost the maximum. Minus 19 is, or minus 20 rather, is the maximum. Um, so minus 20 would mean nothing else gets ahead of me. So we, we can see how much that's changed anything. Let me go back out here and let's close this. Remember how quickly that opened up before. Let's see if it slows down now. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit slower than it was before. Okay. So my counter, um, and let's make sure we got counter running. So let's do um, dot counter dot sh. So let's get counter running, make sure it's running here. And let's go back out. And now let's close this. And let's reopen it. Remember, the niceness of counter.sh is minus 15. Okay, so it is slower. All right. Okay, it's still running. Uh, so let's go back out to another screen here. I'm going to leave it running. And let's go and back into the terminal. And let's bump this up to full screen. And let's uh, zoom in a little bit. And let's do a re-nice of uh, minus 19. Let's go almost all the way up. Minus 19 of PID 7319. Oh, I'm data pioneer again. Sorry about that. Let's change back to root. And uh, let's clear the screen. Remember, a standard user can't assign a negative number to a process for niceness. And so uh, now let's re-nice it to minus 19. I think the PID's still 7319. Yeah. So for the process here, it's running. Um, minus 15 was the old. Now the new is minus 19. Let's go back out here while it's still running. Let's close file manager and let's open that up again and it was a significantly slower that time uh, so what it did was it uh, it had to wait for a little while in order to um, launch the file manager um, and um, you, so you can see that you know the changing the niceness changes the priority of that process it does affect how it operates in the system what you don't want to do, you got you got to be careful about doing as as root is you don't want to be going in and and changing a process on something as root that's critical to the system, uh, giving it a minus twenty, uh, only to find out that now uh, you know in that process of doing that uh, you can't get anything else done, uh, and it's even difficult to get in to the terminal and change the uh, the process back because you've you've allowed that other uh, process to hog the system for all the CPU cycles. Okay, So uh, that was a look at niceness and re-niceness, changing the nice values, uh, the nicety, if you will, of, of the processes in Linux for a process, how you go about doing that, how you go about checking those, and then how you can verify that in top. So um, please like my video if you like my video, and um, uh, have a nice day. Take care.